Okay, this is Jerry Jenkins. Uh, this is a new video. I haven't done one in a long time, uh, but we're going to visit um, Python PY game. I'm running in PY Charm, but you can do this in anything. I'm running a uh, newest Python 3. You would have to install PY game, which I'll uh, put a link in the video description for that. Uh, but we're going to start out when you use PY game, you're going to import PY game. and uh, then you have to init it when you uh, first use it. So you say pygame.init and let me show you what this does. And you can see down here, I'm going to the output, uh, it tells me I'm in PY game version 1.9.6. There's a new version called 2.0 something, but it's in development, so I would not use it yet. There, it does have problems. Uh, and then it says hello from the PY game community and gives you a link to find out more about PY game. Uh, so that doesn't give, give you much yet. So the first thing you need to do, uh, you have to decide how big a window you want to display things in. So I'm going to make a variable for that, and it'll be, I'll make it a small window of 600 uh, on a side. I'm going to make it the same height and width, you'll see how I'll do that. And then you have to tell it to actually open up a window, and it returns an object which we call a surface, which is a, a bit buffer for what you draw into, and that surface is actually copied to the screen when you need it. So we'll say the surface is equal to py game uh, dot display dot set mode and let's see. So you'll see the arguments. It takes a size, uh, which is the screen size, uh, width and height. So a lot of places in py game, when you provide a coordinate x and y or width and height, you put it in a tuple. So I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, it, uh, it, you can give it some flags, and the only and we're not going to give it any flags. You can give it the depth of the display, and you can specify information about the display. So all this is more advanced uh, 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 parameters you can pass. So we're just going to give it the size, and we're going to make a tuple that's the screen size and screen size. So that'll be the width and the height of the screen. And I'm going to run it again, and you'll see it actually does something now. So if you watch closely, uh, I'll do that again. And let me zoom over so you can see where it is. It flashes up a screen, and then it immediately exits. Um, so it actually flashed up a window. So to keep the window there, uh, you have to wait for a special event. Uh, so you have to usually write an infinite loop. And we'll say uh, if pygame.event.peak and we're looking for a pygame uh, quit event. And if that happens, we're going to break out of this loop. And uh, so let me explain this. So again, we have the PY game module, event to submodule, which covers uh, events that the user can cause or other things can cause. And uh, when an event occurs, like the user clicks the X button on the window, which is what we're looking for, uh, we can wait for it and then do something, but this would keep looping and then peak for it. So if it peaks for it, it'll keep looping until this returns true, and then it'll break out of the loop. So let's run this and see what it does. Oops, I have a little something invalid here. Uh, if you like game peak, oh, too many parentheses. Go ahead and run again. And there we have our window. So uh, you can move it around. It always starts in the center of the screen. On some systems, you can. Uh, there's a thing to set to control the starting position of the window, uh, but on Mac uh, it seems to be broken, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, it, when I hit X, it's going to close the window. 
Well, it didn't. So we have one more problem. It's it's still running, uh, but what happens is it doesn't close the window. So when you get to this point uh, in PY Charm, you can quit here, and it'll close it. So it turns out we have to call one more thing here. Uh, PY game dot uh, quit. So let's try this. So this tells PY game to stop. So we'll go ahead and run it again. There's the window. We hit the X. And now it actually finishes from the code and the window goes away. So this is the minimum code you need for PY game. Just to display a window and for the user to stop the window. Uh, so let's add some things. So we're going to draw something. So this loop here is where you draw, especially for animation. So after we check if we're going to quit, we'll put some new things in this loop. So let's just draw a line. We'll say PY game dot draw dot line. And uh, what line expects is a surface object, a color, a start position, and an end position, and the width of the line. And you need to provide all of these. Uh, so the surface is what we saved up here. Um, and then the color will be an RGB color, so it's a tuple with red, green, and blue. The start position is a tuple for XY starting position. And ending position is XY ending position. And it's X and Y. Um, in graphics on computers, the uh, Y position is the vertical position, and it, and it increases as you go down the screen. This is historic, because this is how computers used to write text onto a screen, from top to bottom, like you're writing text. So we're going to give it the name surface. Now this could have been called anything, and when you look at a lot of examples of PY code, sometimes they just call it screen or something. So I just called it surface. Then we need the uh, color. So we're going to color it. Uh, it started with a white screen, so let's do a black line, which is three zeros. And then a starting position, so I'm going to say uh, 50, 50. And an ending position. So let's do, uh, let's say we have 600 wide, so I'll do 500 comma 500. Take out the space here. And then we need a, the width of the line. So let's make a real, real wide line. We'll make it 10 wide. And let's see if it works. Uh, this is little squigglies or a PY charm just warning me I'm not following the style rules. It wants an extra space after a comma. So I'll fix that up and go ahead and run it. Oops, didn't work. Uh, well, there's one more thing we have to do. Now you remember this is a bitmap that you write to, but you have to do a special instruction to copy what you've written to to the screen. So there's two ways of doing this, but uh, mo the one I'm going to do is called update. So we just say PY game uh, dot display dot update. And uh, this will cause it to copy the surface you've set up to the display. So we'll run it one more time. Ah, but now we have a black surface and we're drawing a black line so we don't see anything. So we have to do one more thing before we go into this loop, uh, before we start the loop, we have to draw a, uh, actually, let's do it after we check for the quit event, pygame.fill. Uh, oh draw dot fill surface with uh, 255 255 255 this is going to fill the surface with white and then we'll draw a black line run it one more time oops uh, oops we have the wrong Fill, let's see. Oh, it's surface.fill, sorry. 
So we tell the fill the bitmap, you always draw to the bitmap surface. So this is how you do it. Oops. Invalid color argument. Oh, we don't have to pass it to the surface. Run. And there we go. There's a big black line uh, going from 50-50 uh, to 500-500. So if you just wanted to draw things, you can just put a bunch of drawing commands here, and you can use this to just draw a nice illustration uh, in using PY game. So that would be in a single window and then wait for the user to quit the window. Uh, so how do you do animation? You have to draw things over and over again and you have to move them around. So I'm going to draw an animation and I want to rotate a line in a circle. So let me start adding uh, everything I need to do here. Uh, so after we set things up here, we have a screen size, we set up the display, and then we're going to uh, have a block where we're going to set up a bunch of variables. So we're going to do a step, which is going to keep track of where we are in the animation. I'm going to have an angle uh, per step. So we're going to rotate the line uh, 0, 0.5 degrees each time. And I have a, how long the line is. And we're going to make it a uh, screen size uh, times 0.8. So it'll be 80% of the screen size. And then I'm going to set that initial, uh, the center of the screen, I'm going to calculate uh, CX, which is equal to CY, which we have, because we have a square screen, is equal to screen size divided by 2. And I'm using integer divide, so we get an integer result. Um, a lot of things in PY game expect integer in terms of location, and so if you give a floating point, uh, you can get an error or a warning. Uh, so just to let you know that. Okay, so we have those. Uh, we've set up our surface up here. Okay, and uh, now we're here. We're going to enter our animation loop, and we've filled the screen. And we're going to replace this draw with a different draw. But first we have to do some calculations. Uh, so we're going to set up an a the angle of the line will be equal to the step times the angle per step. Okay. And then the x position of the line will be the line uh, length. Uh, divided by 2 uh, times math dot sine of the angle. Okay, and we math's not defined, so we have to import it up here. Okay, and then uh, y is equal to the line length times math dot cosine of angle. Okay, and that's going to be one endpoint of, of the line. And so we can actually draw it now. So we're going to say PY game draw uh, line the surface object. And we're going to draw a white line. Well, actually, let's change things around. We'll make it a black background. And we'll make a white. Well, let's make a yellow line. So we're going to do uh, all red, all blue, and red, green, blue. Yeah, all red, all red, all green. That makes yellow and zero. And then the line's going to start at a tuple, which is going to be the center, uh, plus x, and oops, start my tuple. 
So that's the first point. The next point is going to Cy plus Y. And that's the end of that tuple. And then we have the two tuple, which will be Cx minus X and Cx minus Y. And then lastly, the, the width line, let's do A wide. And uh, so that'll draw one line. We have to update uh, every time through the loop. We need to update the step. So after we update here, we're going to do step plus equals one. So that's going to increment it by one. And the other thing we need to do is we have to time things. So there's a special thing in PY game called the clock, which is at pygame.time.clock. And then we that gets an object, which is a clock object, then we call tick on it. The method called tick, and we say we want 60 ticks per second. So that'll clock, that'll make a frame rate of 60 per second. So if I typed everything right, we should work. Oops, math has no contribute con. Uh, oh, cosine. A little error there. Run again. Uh, let's see. Surface has five arguments. We have too many. I gave too many arguments, so there's something wrong here. So the first argument then this is the color, which is the second argument. And this is the tuple for the uh, coordinate to go from. That's the third argument. And this argument is not a tuple. So I have to put parentheses around these. And that should fix things. So let me run it. There we go. And you'll see it spins around until I say stop. And so there's a simple animation uh, that you can try. Uh, look at the video description uh, for the uh, link to the code. And you can play with modifying it. And good luck.